Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new then welcome to my channel. I'm Cammie and today's video is going to be a q and A. I I asked you guys some questions or to ask me questions on my Instagram and I got some so I'm just gonna go ahead you hear my kids screaming I'm just gonna go ahead and go through those questions if you guys don't follow me on Instagram the link will be down in the description box And if you guys are new I hope that you will consider subscribing to my YouTube family okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and pull up the questions and go through them and answer them for you guys so I screenshotted them on my phone it's usually what I do so sorry if you can hear my kids screaming he's watching like I don't know, Disney Junior and he's running around. It's early in the morning, not really early, it's like 10 o'clock. Um, but he just ate a waffle. So let's go ahead and get started with the questions. So the first one is, do you wanna, do you want to have more kids or do you enjoy just having one? And we do want to have another kid. I would like just one more. I don't see myself with three. I see myself having two kids and being done. What's the best memory you have? And honestly, just giving birth to my son, like the first time that I, held him that was the most incredible moment of my life you guys like I felt completely overwhelmed and just amazed um when does Parker go to school so he is two year two years old and I know some places it differs um, but for where we live there's a thing called VPK which is like voluntary preschool and um, he can go there if once he turns four so well, he has to turn four by like September. His birthday's in August, so he would he will have met that. So whenever he does turn four, or about to be turning four, we will enroll him and get him into voluntary pre-K and all of that. As of right now, the only thing that we do, or that I do with him, is we go to library on Tuesdays, and it's literally just like a bunch of like little kids and this um, librarian reads to them, and they have like interactive play. So they have interactive play. And then we also, I go to the gym and work out and there's a childcare thing there. So he gets like to be with other children for like an hour. It's just good to like have him play with other kids and stuff because for, you know, two years we weren't doing that and he was an only kid and he was rarely involved with other children. Um, would you let Parker date a teen mom when he's older? And honestly, I mean, I don't know. I would rather him not date someone with a kid and I'd rather him be older and mature enough to handle somebody who has a kid it would be completely up to him I obviously wouldn't be able to like control who he likes um there would be boundaries and all of that but if he felt you know in love with this girl then you know maybe it's just something that we would have to face down the line and what he's comfortable with and how mature he is definitely Um, are you thinking about giving Parker a bro or sis anytime soon? Lots of love. Thank you. Lots of love back. And there's, there's a lot of like, do you guys plan on having more kids? And I have some exciting news to share with you guys. So, me and my husband have talked about it and we are going to be trying to have another kiddo. Um, we're not going to be trying till around like January, so a couple more months just because we have a couple of things to like figure out and, um, some stuff to like just get situated. And so we're not going to be trying for a couple of months. It's going to be after January that we start trying to have another kid. Uh, but I am wanting to have another kid. And he is wanting to have another kid. And we're trying to just kind of figure out how we can make that possible. But yes, you guys, we are going to be trying to have another kiddo pretty soon in a couple of months. Which is very excited. And I think Parker will make a really, really good brother. Big brother. Um, do you think the best age gap between siblings and I've debated this back and forth because my husband he he's okay with like waiting to have a kid and like there being more of an age gap um, whereas I I would like them to be three years apart and that's that's pretty much where I fall in um, I don't want Parker to be two which I mean he's two now by the time we do have another kid Parker will be like three three and a half maybe four um, and that's around like as much of an age gap as I would like because I feel like by the time he's three years old he will be talking more he will be more independent he will hopefully be potty trained and yeah I just feel like that that's a good age gap 
Um, my favorite meal, I really like hot wings and I really like Alfredo, like um, Olive Garden Alfredo and their breadsticks. But I like hot wings and pizza and stuff. I'm not a healthy girl. <laughs> How tall are you? I am five foot three inches. I'm technically like five foot, a little bit tiny bit below, but I, I'm five three. My kid's just screaming and just being weird. Um, what is something you wanted to do but couldn't because of having a kid? Um, I mean, honestly, I wish I had more friends. I wish I had, you know, the social life that I used to have and that's just not something I have anymore. I am just, you know, I stay at home mommy and I try my best to do right by my kiddo. You guys, this toddler man, he's just screeching. My husband is home, so if you guys are wondering, that's, he's out there. Um, how long does your son nap? So we've been going back and forth in this because he was napping. I had a set nap time for like 11 o'clock and then he just, now he just really isn't tired around that time. So I kind of fall, falls asleep whenever he is tired. It depends if it's like 5 o'clock and he falls asleep on the couch, I usually let him nap for 30 minutes. If it's before then, he can usually nap, you know, for a good amount of time. I'm trying to figure out when he gets tired, but he usually just passes out on the couch now. And I, I for like two years, it was like nap time around 11 or 12, and now he just passes out whenever. Which isn't great, but I can't force him to like go to bed at nap time anymore. If you can hear him, he's like singing the like Sunny Bunny song. If you guys know what that is, it's like Disney Junior. Um, so again, how many kids do we want? I want two. I don't really want three kids. I just, two is like just a good number for me. Um, do you think Parker will want to play sports when he's older? And I really hope so. When he does turn three, we are going to try to figure out something to do for him. Um, where we live, there is like a little basketball for three-year-olds. I think there's like some sort of t-ball or like toddler ball or whatever for like little kids when they're three. Um, my husband would like him to do karate, so that might be something that we look into. It's honestly going to be his, we're going to try different sports and whatever he won, whatever one he likes the most, whatever one he feels the most comfortable with is the one that we will stick to. Do you like fall scents? Yes, I love fall scents. I love pumpkin spice scents. I love pumpkin-y scents. Um, literally, the Airwalk things we have around our house, for this time, I have like pumpkin spice in them. And then for like our wax melt, it's literally like apple pumpkin or like pumpkin cinnamon or like something like that. So yes, I love fall scents. What's your favorite fall dessert? I'm not sure. Um, I don't really know of a lot of fall desserts, but I do like pumpkin pie and I look forward to having it for Thanksgiving. What's your favorite fall clothing to wear? I really like sweaters. I don't have a lot of sweaters. You guys, he is just screaming. Um, I really like sweaters and like oversized things and like sweatpants. I like that. I'm not super cute during a fall. Okay, let's see. What learning activities do you do with Parker? We don't really have a lot of learning activities. I have flashcards and stuff and we do those occasionally. A lot of times he learns stuff from the shows that he watches. Um, and then we of course go to like the library and do that. And sometimes we do crafts or something. It just, he, he doesn't have like a ton of learning activities right now. As he gets older, he does have like a leapfrog and we'll try to transition to that and then get like more workbooks and things like that. But I mean, he knows all his colors. We do colors and numbers and stuff, and he can count to like five, like consistently, and then the eight, nine, and ten, eight, seven, seven, oh my goodness, I can't count. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, he's a little weird on. I'm sorry that you can hear him screaming and like being crazy this entire video. Um, any advice for young moms? Just like stick to it, just believe in yourself. What's your favorite part about being a mom is honestly just the seeing him smile, like being happy is the best thing ever. Um, how much do you make on YouTube or nothing? I don't make anything, you guys. Um, I don't have ads or anything. I haven't met the threshold. I did have to start my YouTube channel over since the whole other one got deleted because of breastfeeding. Um, I'm not breastfeeding anymore, so I can't make a breastfeeding video, but yeah. 
Um, and again, there's a lot of questions for babies and we are planning for having another kid, you guys. What inspired you to start YouTube? I'd originally had another channel called Cami and Baby and I did that whenever I was like close to having Parker. Um, my belt, I think like 30 something, 32, I don't know. Some amount of weeks pregnant and I just kind of documented um, the, like, the end of my pregnancy. I had a birth log, I had all of that kind of stuff. Um, and then it ended up getting deleted because I had breastfeeding stuff on there and I guess YouTube was not about it. So they deleted that channel, which is really upsetting because it had memories and stuff on there. But I originally started YouTube to have like the memories of me and my son. And yeah, we are, I'm of course going to document the TTC journey of trying to conceive when we do start and like all of that kind of stuff. So it's honestly just something that I started to have memories. But yeah, um, that's where I'm going to go ahead and end today's video. If you guys are new, I do hope that you will consider subscribing and joining our family. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, leave me a comment. Just say hey. Let me know what your favorite fall scent is or your favorite food is down below. And I hope you guys have a really, really great day. Bye, guys.